seven Bahamians stated they were homeless. I brought them into my home with my husband, opened my doors to them, had people donate from left to right, right to left. These people have not lost anything. And when I say they have not lost anything, they live in the uprich scale area of the Bahamas. And how do I know? Many sources have communicated through me. When I say I am out a thousand dollars and a good friend is out another thousand dollars and I'm crying because I'm so hurt and I've been holding this emotion in all day. These people took me for a joyride. I didn't pay for hotel nights. I had people drop off donations out of the good of my heart. I opened up my home. My home. Something that's sacred to me. And these people took off with everything that they were given. And tried to sell it out of a hotel. (laughs) Said that we abandoned them and that was not the case. We did not abandon them. We had a heart to heart with them yesterday. And we told them, listen, we're on to you. We know what's going on. Please be very blunt. And they said, no, that's not true. These people are just mad. We're here. We don't, you know, we didn't ask for anything. And nothing of that kind of sorts. They seemed very fishy at first. But, you know, I am I have such a big heart that I said, you know, I'm just going to go raw and give my heart in it and I did I didn't even ask my husband permission to do this I just opened my home my daughter's in there in my own home these people a I fed them people were dropping off donations from left to right these people took off on a plane today they left my friend who paid for another night in the hotel high and dry they took everything that she bought them the first day they arrived here she went and spent 200 or 300 dollars on you know things for them while I was at my house scrubbing having people there deck cleaning throwing out stuff getting this efficiency ready for them what hurts me is that it's so sad that the Bahamian community had to come to me my post went viral all the way to the Bahamas and they said that they were they're liars that they were just in it for housing and they wanted free stuff And it hurts me because I don't open my doors to anyone. And I, you know, it's so sad that so many people came to my home dropping off gifts from their heart just for these people to steal money and go. And I'm crying and I don't do this, but because I'm so hurt that I opened my heart, my energy, I gave it my all to give to these people. Family members donated. And, you know, it makes you think sometimes the world is so cruel. And it's not the best. But today I found out that they are gone. They took the first flight out of here before I could catch them. And God Almighty knows why he's doing what he's doing. And I'm not going to stop. I have a mom with a set of twins that are legit. I made sure that the documents and everything that she's stating is correct. But... It's it's devastating. It's heartbreaking. My husband is lost for words. I mean, we've come out of pocket so much money. And it's not about the money, the motive. It's the honesty. And all of us were so honest about everything that we were doing for these people. And these people just turned around and lied to my face. We're seven Bahamians. We lived together. And then the story would switch. No, I, my sister lives here. My, my other sister. It, it was just a weird vibe. When I say last night when we were at Allison's house. They were so quiet. Someone came over. Brought gifts. They wouldn't even inter- interact. You can tell that they just they were in for something other than anything beneficial for them and it's it's sad because I had every intentions of homing them I had every intentions I had connections from left to right to get them jobs I had people that wanted to help them and truly help them and this is what they did they slapped me in my face 
and basically basically said, fuck you, Mimi. We're, we're here for whatever we came and we're gone. And I only cried because I'm so mad and I've been holding it in. I haven't slept. And I don't even want to go to the news media. I don't even want to do that. I've got people are reaching out to me. They want to have interviews. And I'm like, you know what? I'd just rather not. Because that gives a chance for the ones that are truly in need. Not a chance to get hollows and not a chance. I have so many donations in my house. My plans are to still donate them out with the okay of everyone who's dropped them off because it's a lot. I know that I have a set of twins that are coming in with a mom who's legit and I made sure to check every single thing this time and just and just completely go raw 100 with them listen i'm not here for the bullshit are you legit she's from abaco her voters permit states that she's from abaco she's lost it i have a lot of bahamians who are confirming it and i'm gonna bring her in all the goods that i have diaper wise and stuff i'm gonna get it to those kids and they're gonna stay in my house but i'm glad this happened now and not when those seven people were in my home and god forbid something would happen And they would take advantage of the situation. I'm just more hurt because all the effort everyone took out of their time to get these things together, to get, you know, to get all the things together to bring to my house for this family of seven turned out to be they were scammers. They were trying to get free housing because they heard Mm -hmm. that you're entitled to get free housing here as a Bahamian but they didn't know the real rules and and all that and when they found out that there's this page that put up their news and they put my picture up with them hugging them that I was a housing person when I tell you all of Bahamas is communicating with me listen they're fake people they're scammers they live in the most upscale area that no flood hit it was just minimal rain and it hurts me that they have freaking four it hurts me that they have uh, four nice cars parked outside their house hasn't even been touched and you know for me to just not say anything not do anything just hold my pride because everyone who knows me knows the real Mimi I would have been pulling weave out I would have been pulling scalps out and I you know I didn't because I think about my daughter my actions I gotta think about my child but I'm not gonna stop like I said I am I'm I'm determined to get that efficiency up and running for the set of twins and this mom. And after they leave in the month from now, I am going to go ahead and continue to open my doors to those who legitimately need it. But I don't want to be skimmed anymore. I can't take it. For someone to sit there and be like, yeah, we're homeless. We don't have it. My friend's bodies were flooding and I saw my friends die. It was all a lie. And I hurt because I believed it and I thought they were being genuine and, and I and you know, I, w- I, I took them as family. When my friend called today, after we found everything out, she called the hotel to cancel the card to put them on their ass. They told her that they already left to the airport. So God knows where, which airport they're at or if they already arrived at the Bahamas. But they got something coming to them because all the Bahamians are waiting for them all over there every single one of them that are part of them that know where they live they are waiting for them to arrive and god forgive me whatever happens to them that's on them that's what you get for lying for taking taking kindness of people taking people for granted you know we don't do this on a daily basis you know people don't come and donate my house is full of donations that were set for these people and I'm hurt I'm so hurt because I hugged so many people yesterday and thanking them for them and it just hurts me more that these people took all the advantage they could and I'm glad I didn't let them leave with anything I told them yeah I'll drop off donations and I didn't something told me to hold on to it I'm you know, I don't cry. I'm a tough cookie, but right now I'm breaking. I'm, my spirit is so broken right now. I didn't leave it. I, you know, I didn't allow them to take one bit of a donation. But from here on out, if anyone, I know that everyone that dropped off obviously is not going to come and pick these things up. My house is full of donations. 
if you know families, I know a few families in need, and with the permission, if I'm allowed to donate, you know, the, the certain shoe sizes and shirts that will fit them, if you give me the permission, I will go drop it off. I'm going to still set up for the twins. And because they need us, those twins need us. They both have respiratory issues and they need to be seen. I'm going to keep getting things ready for the little girls. And, you know, uh, I believe Stephanie mentioned she had a pack and play. I'm going to still get my efficiency ready. But I am not going to stop to help the ones that need. Just because a bad apple ruined it, there's other people that are still in need. And I don't want the 